Right over the mountain pass is an average 40-minute drive from Jackson Hole to the Teton Valley, where the wealth of being so close to the national parks is but a distant memory. Not only are things way cheaper here and the action less intense, but you get an added bonus, a different view of the Tetons from behind. It was here in Victor where I picked up some of the most dramatic skies and time lapses of the trip, saw rainbows, and yeah, I had the best huckleberry milkshake of my life. The Teton Valley is primarily three little cities, Victor and Driggs, which each have about 2,000 people living there, and tiny Tetonia with 300 folks. This is a great area for taking a country drive, biking and hiking, shooting landscapes and time lapses on your smartphone, and just having fun walking around. You'll see acres and acres of farmland complete with working farms and even abandoned ones. We pulled over because I couldn't believe somebody wanted to walk away from this butte. Would you look at that view? Who would want to give that up? The Idaho border is so close to Wyoming that even on this little country road in Tetonia, we were just a few blocks off main highway of Route 33, and we ended up in Wyoming again without having to go over a mountain pass. How do you like that little welcome to Wyoming sign? Now about those great skies, I don't know why they were so dramatic here, but every night was an award winner from the rainbow and drags to the time lapses, sunrise and sunsets at the side of the road. I love the self-portrait I did one morning just before the rain was about to hit in Victor. Where I was standing, it was dry, but in the background, you can see the skies start to swell. Food-wise, there is a little supper club in town called the Naughty Pine that serves one mean barbecue. Brakeman's has won raves for its burgers and Idaho cut fries, and the Little Butter Cafe is a cute little place with fantastic cornbread muffins. And did I happen to mention this great little eatery at the corner of Main Street and Depot Way? It's been said, inside these doors, the Emporium in Victor, Idaho, greatest huckleberry milkshake in the world. For real? Come on inside and let's find out. No, yeah, hello, hello. Hi. Come on in. Let's go back to the counter. How you doing? Can I get a name without ordering? Jeff, but we won't be very far from you. We hear the the best shakes in the world. The Huckleberry Shake, world famous. You've had people from all over the world here, right? Basically, yep. Yeah. And now we're here from California. Awesome. So you're going to make our shake for us? Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll make it extra berries for Oh, good. Thank you. All of our milkshakes are ice cream vanilla based. So we put ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and then we just add everything. So we just add huckleberries, and then we do two scoops of juice. So it's purple. So these are more tart. Blueberries are more for say sweet and blue. Huckleberries are more tart and um, homegrown here. So because blueberries, if you made a milkshake out of it, I would say it'd be like blue, dark kind of. Um, yeah. Huckleberries, purple, always purple. Here comes another classic Sorry, huckleberry shake. That's okay. Look at that. It looks beautiful. All right. And look what we have, a huckleberry milkshake. Let's give it a taste. Really good. From the soda fountain in Victor, Idaho, the Emporium, home of the world famous milkshake. I'm Jefferson Graham for Photo Watch TV.